So we are on the tutorial video for answering lift bag questions. This is buoyancy calculations part three from my study notes that are at the website www.goprocaribbean.com. Watch the videos in the order they're intended to be watched in by viewing them from there. After this tutorial video, you'll find on the website some example questions to help you practice and apply what you're learning here. So. This diagram you should now be very familiar with. An object, it has a downward force based on its weight. It has an upward force based on a combination of its volume and the type of water it is in. Let's just say that this object has a weight of 200 kilograms and a volume of 100 liters. It's in salt water, so we put the salt water constant 1.03 in there. What is its upward force? 100 times 1.03 tells us the upward force is 103 kilograms. This should all be very familiar to you so far. What have we now got facing us? Well, we can see the upward force is less than the downward force. It's negatively buoyant. By how much is it negatively buoyant? It's negative by 97 kilograms. Using a lift bag, we need to offset a further 97 kilograms of water. So we know the weight of the water we need to displace. We know that if we have a volume, to calculate the weight of the water it displaces, we multiply. But we're wanting to work the other way. We've got a weight, we want to find a volume. So we're going to take multiplication and we're going to inverse it. We want to do the opposite. We want to go from weight to volume. So we divide 97 by that saltwater constant, 1.03, and that will tell us how many litres of salt water weighs 97 kilograms how many litres of water we need to displace using a lifting device to make it neutrally buoyant, allowing us to safely swim it to the surface. So that is how we could answer a lift bag question uh, using the diagrammatic approach. There is a probably simpler uh, approach that you can use. So now I'm going to teach you a simple two-step method to answer this same question, an object with a weight of 200 kilograms and a volume of 100 litres in salt water. What are we going to do? Well, for the first part of step one, we're just going to focus on the weight of the object. It weighs 200 kilograms. We're going to enter 200 next to the number one there. And now we need to divide that by the salt water constant because it's in salt water. So weight divided by the water constant. What have we just calculated there? We have calculated the total amount of water in liters that we need to displace to make this object neutral. So if we know the total amount of water in litres that we need to displace, we need to figure out how much we need to displace using the lift bag. So we take that total amount, we subtract the volume of the object, uh, and what we're then left with is the amount we need to use the lift bag for. So the volume of the object is 100 litres, we'll put that in. And 194 minus 100 gives us 94 litres. That's the part of the displacement that the lift bag needs to do to make it neutrally buoyant. So that is how you do lift bag questions. Now let's look at three example questions. You're going to find them on my website, goprocaribbean.com, Dive Theory, Physics Part 3.